I used to play football, so one of my friends used, uh, told me to come out and play rugby. <laughs> Zach Smith found his love for rugby in the third grade. That's when he started playing for the Brighton Youth Rugby Association. The Brighton Tikis are a really skilled group of rugby players. We have a lot of amazing coaches. Before you throw it, you want to look where you throw it. The association was founded in 2019 by Damon Balsarak and Jeff McAtee. We do practice in some pretty harsh weather conditions and there are also some harsh field conditions. So Balsarak got excited when he found out the city of Brighton is upgrading some of their parks throughout the city. I was there the night they approved it and I was tickled pink. First, let's travel to Colorado Park where the city is upgrading the tennis courts. They already teared out all the asphalt old surfacing that was in disrepair and they're currently putting in concrete post tension concrete like we've done at all of our other sports courts. Parks planning, development and grant manager Ryan Smith says the new concrete surface will last longer. Smith also says the court will be striped into two different tennis courts. And we've also heard the demand for how much pickleball is needed and we're going to stripe that as well for four pickleball courts at that park. Now on to Donaldson Park, where Smith says the City of Brighton will be replacing the playground. We're very excited as the City of Brighton um, for this playground. It'll be our most inclusive playground that the City of Brighton Parks Department maintains and operates. Smith says the new Donaldson Park will have ramps, sensory panels, ADA accessible swings, and even a bridge area that children with different abilities will be able to enjoy. We feel like we're catering, catering to so many different needs of the community and that's obviously a huge part of what we're doing is we're trying to make sure that we're staying current with every other city in the in the metro and even trying to get ahead of some of them in that regard. And lastly, let's head to Water Tower Park where the most improvements are taking place. As you can see behind me, the artificial turf has officially begun. They've started cutting out the existing natural grass and they're going to be putting in curbing and artificial turf uh, in the next few months. The City of Brighton will also be installing a new playground, sports lighting, an updated irrigation system, and once everything is completed, new fencing will be installed around Water Tower Park. So we've heard a lot of good things about the sports lighting. We're very excited to be able to keep all the kids in the city after hours, after it gets dark, to be able to play their programming here. Uh, that includes football, soccer, and rugby. So we're very excited ab about the aspects to bring them here and keep them in the city of Brighton. Once these are completed, the Brighton Tikis will finally have a field to call home. We're thankful for the amenities Brighton Parks Department has afforded us and the things that they have forward thinking on and continue to build.